Welcome to Cannes. Movie starts out with Bightning McQueen psyching himself up for his big race, which if he wins, he wins the Piston Cup and this new deal with this new team because their dude is retiring and, and Lightning is pretty good and shit. And in this race, for some reason, he starts out in the back, but he sides through the opposition in Le Race. Fans do the Mexican wave. They go to the bathroom. I don't know why they would need to go to the bathroom. I don't know why or how cars are born or why they need taxis, buses, or caravans or camper vans when there are no humans. That is beyond me, but whatever. There's a lot of more questions I have like this, and I'm going to try my hardest not to ask them and move on. Now, McQueen's main rival other than the Superbird is Chick Dix, right? All three of them are in a three-way tie for the championship, okay? And Dick Chicks is a really dirty driver cockface, and he essentially tries to murder McQueen and the rest of the field, but McQueen makes it through the wreckage, and he jumps off another car, which is like basically trampolining off a corpse, just saying, and he makes it through and doesn't pit under the safety car like everyone else, which means he is in the lead right now. Then a bunch of laps later, he does pit, but does not pit for tires, only gas, the absolute fucking numbskull retard, and then goes out, and somehow the tires hold up all the way to the last lap, where one of them blows, Chick Dix and Superbird get news of that so they go pill to the metal while another tire explodes McQueen tries to get their crawl pace while they're fucking zooming their way down the track and they eventually cross the line together after that Lightning McQueen's being a dick in the post race interview like I'm a one man show why are we still here I don't need a tame. Just to suffer. Yeah, well, fuck you, big guy. And his whole Piku puts on him because he's a cunt. Then before they reveal the winner, he gets approached by two of his biggest fans, these two Miatas. <laughs> Oh, I get it. They flashed him. <laughs> Wait, does that mean when they did the Mexican wave, everybody whipped out their titties? Do they drive around at night with their tits out? Doesn't matter. Moving on. He ignores advice from Bluebird while he's daydreaming about getting his team and being more famous and shit. And how the fuck is this tire print unique? You can literally buy the same rubber in any fucking store, you fucking idiots. Whatever. It is revealed that all three of them have won and they all get to go home with their very own piston cup. Yay. Not gonna happen. See, they are gonna have another race, three way race, 200 laps in California. And who wins that? It's the piston cup and the sponsorship shit. Then Bite My Ass Whipped Cream goes to his fucking trailer, but to get to it, he has to go through his anti-rust sponsorship tent and he's like hey rusty cars this is not good for my image bitch they are your main sponsors they are your image i think we're way past that buddy besides isn't rust like cancer for cars so what we're saying here essentially is that mcqueen hates cancer patients listen i'm just pointing shit out anyway mcqueen's like race cars don't need headlights because the track is always lit does that mean that mcqueen has no tits okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop now i'm gonna stop so he gets to his trailer and they hit the road laugh is a highly country music blah 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 black his mac truck after long since of driving wants to stop and take a nap so he can continue another long day of driving but McQueen is such an ignorant little prick he forces him to keep driving through the night fucking Jeff Bezos piss in a bottle type B also where the fuck is this camera what the fuck is Max staring at here whatever we get another empty road in the movie about fucking cars for god's sake and if you try to say this is nighttime and nobody's out not even a minute later we get this shot with the highway busy as shit so fuck you anyway cut the snaps of the whiskey Mac falls asleep for a moment and some goons mess with him and McQueen falls out the truck by accident and by the time he is awake he's already in the middle of the road and far away from Mac and he tries to run back to him and somehow he has so much confidence in this truck being the freaking the truck this is Mac although it's identical to all other trucks on the fucking road so he falls it off the interstate and finds out that it isn't Mac and he's like oh shit I gotta go back to the interstate and instead of going back the way he came where he knows the interstate it is he goes this way what a genius then a cop gets onto his ass because he's driving too fast and the old timer keeps backfiring and shit so Lightning thinks he's getting shot at so he doesn't stop no you fucking idiot I know you're red but you're clearly white no cop's gonna open fire on you that fast anyway he makes it to this tiny town and ruins it because he's a panic and anakin running over shit and destroying businesses and crap destroying the road itself then with stanley's massive cock shortly after stanley gets sling slingshotted slingshot no oh, slingshot well shortly after stanley gets slingshotted peacefully back to his resting place while lightning traps himself in like electrical wiring shit i forgot what it's called then next day he gets towed to court i don't know how he's getting towed from the back with the boot on his front tires but maybe they took it off and on again at the court and shit doesn't matter he's in court and a lawyer is appointed to him and at first doc hudson who's like the big cheese of this town wants him out of his town for some reason but then the porsche porsche whatever way you want to pronounce it comes in mcqueen thinks she's for him so he tries to schmex her up and smooth talk her a little but little does he know she's actually against him she's a town lawyer attorney or something and she convinces doc to make him fix the road then mater goes oh, man, you get to work with Bessie. i'll give him a lift two lug nuts something like that nah he's talking about his balls i'm old now i can understand these dirty jokes in kids movies so mcqueen is gonna pull bessie around to make the fucking road and why isn't bessie sentient exactly the fuck doesn't matter because lightning makes a break for her after getting freed from the boot by mater before he gets hooked up to Bessie, but no worries because they siphon just enough gas out of his tank for him to run out of gas right at the exact location where the cop hides with Sally. So they take him back and hook him up to Bessie and he gets to work. Shouldn't he first scrape off the old bad road and then apply this like sticky gooey stuff for the asphalt to adhere? Whatever, fuck it, who cares? Two customers come to town by accident and lightning scares them so they...
Why do they need to do that? In the fact, why do they even have doors? Oh, there are no humans in this universe. This is see, these are the questions I'm telling you about. See, these are the fucking ah. So McQueen's like, fuck this shit. I gotta finish this road fast. And he big dicks it with his otherwise silent V8 blaring loudly. He must be some sort of hyper or some shit. Anywho, he finishes the road and it's pretty crap, but done. So he's like, let me go now. But Doc's like, fuck no, road's trash. Hey man, I'm a high end racing machina. I can't be doing this shit. All right, there, legend. Then let's have a race. If you win, you leave. And if I win, you keep that vagina you call a mouth shut and you build that road proper. Deal. So they go on a dirt oval, and as it turns out, Dick. Queen McQueen can't turn for shit on derp and he ends up eating shit in a ditch with a bunch of cactuses or cacti. Mm, Google will help you out with the plural of that word. I'm too lazy. Anyway, he must now build a good road nice and slow over the course of five days. So he gets to work scraping off the old shit he did and finishes a tiny portion of it overnight and then he disappears. Not really. He just asks the sheriff to go to the dirt oval again to try and make the turn that he never could make and never does make. So the doc tries to explain to him in the dumbest way possible how to make that turn. And you know what's really retarded? That in a movie about sentient living cars drifting oversteer understeer basically everything everything car control related is not common knowledge for a fucking race car. That's like Usain Bolt not knowing he shouldn't run with scissors. You learn that type of crap in your infancy. Don't run with scissors, brush your teeth before bed, and don't stick your dick in an electrical socket. Also, I already saw lightning counter steer to correct the slide multiple times before, so this is kind of bullshit. Anyway, he continues fixing the road and Sally offers him a cone to stay in in her hotel themed cone hotel. Hot co cone themed hotel. There. Then he notices she got a tramp stamp and he like, you dirty dirty girl, dirty hole. Girl, you dirty girl. After that, Mater takes some tractor tipping. Man, I, but McQueen got no horn, so he scares them using his big honking V8 and accidentally tips the whole fucking field. Then they get chased around by Franku, the combine harvester or whatever, and look at that. He's turning on dirt. They get back and Mater just exuding with big dick energy shows him how to drive in reverse at mad speeds. The next day, after some night terrors, Lightning McQueen goes to get his fuel rations from the sheriff, but he busy getting checks for STDs and shit. So McQueen's like, grr, angry, heck, kick, brr, and stumbles upon a discovery in Doc's gay raj that he is the great Hudson Hornet with not one but three pissing cups to his name. And the dog catches him like sign says stay out cunt. Dude you're the Hudson Hornet. Hudson Hornet? I haven't heard that name in years. That's my past it's not who I am now so get the fuck out bitch. So bite me Shaquille goes back to the townspeople telling them about his discovery while Doc watches and nobody believes him. Then Sally fills lightning up with some liquid usually it's the other way around if you catch my drift. <laughs> I'm disgusting. So he gets some go-go juice and she trusts him enough to not run off with it and go on a scenic drive with her and thankfully her trust is not misplaced. They go on the scenic drive. Canyon carving break Breaking multiple speed limits, I presume, and end up at an old motel. She's like, I used to be a dumb LA bitch, but now I'm here and I can't leave because I'm in love with this place. Cool story, right? Yeah, totally. And she longs to see what the town was like before the interstate was made and everybody had to pass the Radiator Springs to get to LA. What happened? The town got bypassed just to save 10 minutes of driving. Oh, shut the fuck up, guy. You think the entire interstate saved just 10 minutes of time? Fuck out of here with your horrible estimations of time, you dumb bitch. Later on, back in town, Mater has somehow found a way to get a bunch of tractors loose, and while getting one back, Lightning sees Doc about to flex his muscles. So he forgets about the tractor and watches him turn on dirt, and he's like, teach me, sensei. But Doc's like, fuck you, room. And we find out that Doc had a big crash at the peak of his car rear. Haha, <laughs> get it? Puns, puns, very funny puns. Yes. He had a huge crash, and when he got fixed and came back, his team already moved on to another dude, and he kind of got mad about that, and he's still salty to this day. What I'm curious about is how he came here and became Doc Hudson. Anyway, shut the hell up and fix the goddamn room, you piece of fuck, says the Doc. And next day, he gets the road done in like 3.5 days out of 5, give or take half a day. Good, uh, not bad, not bad, not bad, because then he pulled an all nighter. And the whole town thinks he left, and they're very sad about that. Turns out he's not really gone. He's still here, and he's gonna help him out by buying something from all day businesses. Then how the fuck have you stayed in business for all this time? This shit makes no fucking sense. And how's McQueen paying for all this shit? Does he have a credit card on him or something? If so, why couldn't he just pay for the road damages? Or wait, this guy actually got me thinking. Don't you get like one phone call? One he calls agent or... Ah, oh, peak no sense. Peak no sense was made right here. Whatever, he gets some sick white walls from Luigi's. Gas from the hippie and military shit from Sarge. And paint job from Ramon. Wait a minute, just laying down paint like that? No sanding, no primer, no base coat? What the fuck? Ramon don't know what the fuck he's doing, I say. Whatever, he also helps them set up their old neon lights to surprise Sally. Like good old times and they cruise around have a good time and suddenly the paps arrive right the press is here and so is mac then lightning mcqueen's agent calls him and tells him to get back and jizz because the race and stuff and mcqueen's pretty bummed out because he got cock blocked by his stardom or whatever the car or cock equivalent is anyways he's kind of forced into his trailer and sally finds out that doc is the one who called the press so technically he's the source of the cock blockage and now the whole town is sad all thanks to you doc cunson now over to california it is race day and mac is lightning's pit crew which is a pretty shitty deal but hey it's better than nothing and when the race starts lightning can focus because he's too busy thinking about them booty cheeks he didn't get the clap or the, maybe the rear fender cheeks <laughs> same thing but then he sees doc and some of the peeps from the town as pit crew and he's like yay then he pits for the most useless fucking pit stop on planet earth lap one so they could just basically tell him hey you could do this. Yeah, thanks, cunt. It's not like you can say that on the fucking radio or anything. Now he's a lap down. He has to... You're the reason he's a lap down. 
you think uh, uh, experienced race car like Hudson would not make this mistake, but no. No, 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 no. So he makes it out to make up that lost lap. Shitty ass, dumbass, stupid decision. And everybody gawks at Mr. Cock Hudson. And eventually Lightning does make up the difference and reel in the leaders. Then Dick Chick spins him out, but Lightning passes him in reverse. I really highly doubt that race cars can go over 150 miles an hour in reverse, but who gives a shit at this point? He spins back round and straightens out and some more dude racing from Dick Chicks. He blows McQueen's tires out and the yellow comes out because that is a totally valid reason to bring out the fucking yellow. Doesn't matter though, because the fucking best part of the movie is coming up right now, okay? So he goes into the pits and Guido's about to show them fucking green bitches how it's done. He goes... <laughs> Fucking thin, nasty little hose. And that allows McQueen to get right in front of the pace car with 10 laps to go. He catches up to them in these laps. And on the last lap, Mr. Dickhead Racing gets them all out of shape. Lane McQueen goes on the grass and he enters what someone would call a hectic skid. And he counter steers and wow, learning moment. He can fucking drift and controls it. Gets back on the fucking track. He's in the first place. But then even more dirty racing from Chick. He fucking spins out the king, sends him flying and crashing into the fucking dirt. Massive cunt move. And McQueen sees this on the big screen and he stops right before the finish line. And Chick crashes into him and they fucking explode and die in a gigantic which hands chicken dick the win while he goes back to push the super bird across the finish line because the king's gotta finish his last race fuck yeah sportsmanship baby chick wins but no one gives a single shit lightning still gets offered the dinical deal but declines because family uh, vin diesel oh, yeah. important question though why the fuck isn't sally here doesn't matter mater rides in a helicopter michael schumacher cameo fantastic this movie gets seven lug nuts out of seven fuck nuts